right, we'll move to our next coach this morning, the head coach of the Charleston Southern Buccaneers, Jamie Chadwell. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. How are you guys today? Good morning. The Bucks have the first yeah. game of the 2015 right. season. Be good for Danny. Thank you for playing tonight. Hosting Northeast Greenville on a great evening on the new turf. Mark, I'm having trouble hearing you there. Can you repeat that? Uh, I was just saying, you're all playing on the gear. You can turn it to something more to the channel, whatever you need to do. Go ahead now. All right. Sorry about that. We're asking everyone to please eliminate your background noise. Feel free to mute your please. lines yeah. uh, so we can hear our uh, panelists. So, uh, once again, introducing Charleston Southern head coach Jamie Chadwell. Bucks have the first game of the season Thursday evening, 7 p.m., hosting North Greenville on the new turf at CSU Stadium. Just open up, talk about preseason camp, some of your starters uh, that have emerged that we should be aware of, and then we'll talk about North Greenville. Well, Mark, it was uh, probably our, our most consistent camp that we've had. Something you should expect, you know, going into your third year with a lot of experience coming back. Uh, very pleased with uh, the mentality of our team. We have uh, nine starters back on offense, including Austin Brown, you know, being a second year as a quarterback. And then on defense, uh, we've got six starters returning. Uh, lost a lot of defense guys up front. Is but so the, kind of uh, the excitement that we've had, is everybody there? We're here. Okay. Uh, but there's just a great excitement. There's a great mentality for camp. Uh, and uh, since I've been here, we've, we've, we've had like a season in the injury every year during camp. This was the first time that we haven't. So we're excited about that. I think this is the most healthiest that we've been going into a, our first game. So that's something that we're looking forward to as well. Um, the thing that we want to try to establish in our camp is, is our depth at our defensive line. As I mentioned, we lost a lot of guys there. Uh, and we've got a lot of young guys that have never played. So we're going to be playing probably two freshmen, a couple redshirt freshmen, uh, one junior and one uh, sophomore is, is going to be in our rotation. So a lot of guys that are very green, very raw, but actually I think very, very talented. So we're looking forward to seeing how they play on Thursday night. But uh, our, our team is anxious to get out there. Our turf, you mentioned the turf. We just got it finished Saturday. Got us a nice rain from uh, a little bit of that hurricane here to see if it see if it was going to work and it, it held up. So we're excited about that. We've been on it for three days now, uh, and just uh, we're excited about the surface that it brings and the and the, uh, what it looks like in our stadium and the atmosphere. You mentioned North Greenville for Thursday. Uh, I never like playing somebody that uh, where I've coached before. Uh, they're bringing in a great team that won a victory bowl last year, uh, won seven games. They've got 18 starters returning, all-time leading quarterback. Uh, at their university and as far as yards and completions and attempts. He's a great player. They've got a lot of good skill. And then uh, nine returning starters on defense. And uh, So it's going to be a huge challenge for us to kick it off Thursday. All right, Coach, thanks so much. At this time we'll take questions for Charles and Southern Head Coach Jamie Chadwell. To ask a question, please press star 1 on your phone at any time or click the Q&A link near the top of your browser and click raise hands if you join us via the web. Questions for Charleston Southern head coach Jamie Chadwell. So while we wait for a question or two, uh, with Christian Reyes uh, departed, just kind of talk about your running backs and then kind of who's going to be, will there be a featured back or kind of a by committee uh, on your standpoint? Well, it's it's hard to replace Christian with one person. Uh, we will do it by committee. We, we've we uh, got uh, Ben Robinson and Mike Holloway that's played a lot of football for us back uh, that will get a lot of the bulk of the carries. Darius Hammond, who has been a, a great special teams player for us, all-conference special teams returner. Uh, he'll be getting a lot of uh, reps now at our at our what we call our B-back position uh, to try to replace what Christian brought to us. We've got a couple freshmen that will see action. Uh, Keelan Fraze uh, out of Georgia and then Adam Allen here out of South Carolina. Uh, you'll see those guys get some reps as well. We're trying to, uh, one, get uh, those young guys some experience, and then, two, see what Darius can do in it as, a, as a featured back type deal. So uh, if Darius can carry the load, you might see us uh, you know, go to him sort of like we did Christian and let Ben and Mike do their thing. If not, uh, then we're just going to continue to roll them in there and see who has a hot hand. But I do like what they bring to the table. Um, they're, you know, they're not the package Christian was in a lot of ways, but they do have great assets that they can bring to it. Uh, I feel, I feel like we'll be overall probably stronger at that position. Overall, maybe not as a, obviously as a one guy, but overall we'll be stronger in that position. And talk about a little bit more about Austin Brown, uh, second year with you, uh, taking over the quarterback reins. Um, 
how has he progressed from year one to year two? And obviously with some of the uh, new personnel, you know, just kind of the leadership that you're looking for him. Well, it, it's been night and day, uh, to be honest with you. I think uh, just <clears throat> one, his confidence level and what we're trying to do. Uh, he had really pretty he closed the season there, three pretty good games in our in our win streak there in the Big South. And uh, really had great confidence going into the spring and then coming in here in the fall camp. And it's sort of his team now. I think last year he was just trying to sort of fit in and, hey, I'll do what I can but not try to have a leadership role. And now uh, the team looks to him when things maybe aren't going that way when we got some adversity, and, and he's really taking a good hold of that. So I think that's the big thing uh, uh, the difference you're going to see in him this year is just – in certain situations, in those in those uh, winnable situations where you win or lose the game, I think he's really going to step up because he's just so much more comfortable. And now that he's also comfortable with the guys around him, uh, we've got more receivers back from injuries and different things. So I feel like we've got some more weapons to add to him that can really showcase what he can do. And I, we expect uh, for him to have a big year. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll start Thursday night. And my last question for you, speaking of Thursday night, you know, the improvements to the stadium, a Thursday night game, just kind of what's the buzz around campus uh, as you are opening up uh, in a couple days? Well, I, I love Thursday nights. I think, it, one, it, you know, it gives you a chance to showcase uh, your university. There's not many, you know, that are around or play on Thursday. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, our student body, just getting back, we started, you know, last week, and, and they're anxious for something to get going at the school. They can all rally around. So, uh, there's been uh, just a, a great, huge spirit on campus looking forward to Thursday night. And then you have an opponent coming in from in-state uh, that people know uh, that uh, will travel well. So we think it's going to be a great atmosphere on uh, Thursday night. We, we think it's going to be a sold-out crowd, uh, obviously with the new turf and the new uh, things that we've done to our stadium and the entrance. Uh, it's going to be a, a wonderful night for a game. And the weather's going to hold off, so uh, everybody's been looking forward to this for a while, including our team and uh, our community. All right, Coach, that's all the questions we have for you. So we'll go ahead and let you go. But we appreciate you joining us. And good luck Thursday night against North Greenville. Thank you, Mark. See you later. All right.